This may look like an indecipherable mess. Let's try and put those pieces together. But to a hacker, let's follow this a little bit further. It's a treasure map. I can actually put the page back together. Guiding them right to the information. Now watch this you value most. We just make assumptions that we have security from end to end. Typically, we do not. Matt Curtin is a computer security expert and consultant with Interhack. He agreed to show us just how easy it is for the bad guys to lure you into a tempting Wi-Fi trap. I played the role of his unsuspecting victim, connecting a laptop to an unsecure Wi-Fi network he created called Free Wi-Fi. A few clicks and I was online searching my Facebook and Twitter accounts. All the while, our bad guy is seeing it all through a language he'll decipher later. Not just the search history, but everything. In Curtin's 20 years of experience, he says part of the reason this can happen to people so easily is because they've been conditioned to ignore the warnings. The process of using a computer for many people is a little bit like playing whack-a-mole. Uh, it's like a game where the objective is to make the pop-ups go away as fast as possible. To show how easy it is to reel unsuspecting people in... People love free stuff. Yep. <laughs> we got in a car... What could you be doing to them right now? ...and brought our free Wi-Fi hotspot with us. Apparently, others did too. This is ours, free Wi-Fi. There's another one called free internet. We have another one called Instant Internet. In our case, it took minutes before we started getting bites. Oh, you've got another customer. Our hotspot didn't connect people to the internet. And our customer has disappeared. But what if it did connect? We could be observing anything that they're sending back and forth. Remember all those indecipherable letters and numbers he took from me earlier? Well, a hacker will take those and then sift through them looking for things like your username, your password, vital information, basically, who you are. Check this out. Curtin is now reconstructing my browsing session. Here's an example of work on abc600side.com. He then shows me how he pieces the puzzle together and recreates what I saw online. Wow. And there it is. This is an image I clicked on while browsing our station's website. So here's where you start talking to Facebook, yeah. And Curtin says hackers may not get your username to secure sites like your bank, for instance, but if they're able to see enough of your time online, they may be able to crack the code. Don't be in too much of a hurry. To protect yourself, Curtin says simply stay away from unsecure Wi-Fi networks and take it slow while you're logged on because you might never know who's watching at the other end.